Hi, this is question number 8 from the AQA Mechanics 1B January 2013 exam paper. Um, in this question we're going to be looking at projectiles. A golf ball is hit from a point on a horizontal surface so that it has an initial velocity of v meters per second at an angle alpha above the horizontal. The ball travels through the air and after 2.4 seconds it hits a vertical wall at a height of 3 meters and the wall is at a horizontal distance of 38.4 meters from the point where the ball was hit and the path is shown in this diagram. Assume that the weight of the ball is the only force that acts on it as it travels through the air so that means that we can treat this as a projectile. Now, um, we, um, the ball ends up 38.4 meters away horizontally and 3 meters away vertically from where it started and it's taken 2.4 seconds for it to reach there. For part A, I'll do it over here, part A, um, we want to find the horizontal component of the velocity of the ball. So I'm going to call the horizontal component of the velocity um, our initial velocity in the y direction, in the x direction. Okay, Okay, so um, we because there isn't any acceleration horizontally, I could just say that this speed, um, this um, horizontal velocity is going to be equal to the horizontal distance divided by time. Okay, so it's just constant velocity. So we can say that u x is equal to the distance travelled, which is thirty eight point divided by the time taken to get there which is 2.4 seconds and that works out to be 16 meters per second okay for part B we want to find what V is so in order to find out what V is we first of all need to know what the vertical component of the initial velocity is. Okay, so in order to work that out, I'm going to write down all the information that I know vertically. So I'm going to write down SUVA. Okay, so my uh, vertical displacement is going to be, well it ends up 3 meters above where it started, so that's going to be 3 meters. Our vertical component of the velocity, is initial velocity is what we're trying to find out and we don't know the vertical component of the final velocity however we do know that the acceleration because it's a projectile situation we're going to have the acceleration due to gravity acting downwards so that's going to be minus 9.8 meters per second per second we also know the time is going to be 2.4 seconds so I can stick that in there as well okay so what we want to know is this bit here so I need to find an equation that um, connects these together and in fact the equation I'm going to use is going to be okay we're going to have s is equal to ut plus half a t squared Okay, so um, I can stick in all the information that I know. So I'm going to have 3 is equal to, and that's what we're trying to find out, times 2.4 plus uh, a half times negative 9.8 t, so 2.4 squared. Okay, and if I um, stick all of this into my calculator and, and work out what this is going to be, I get thirteen point oh one meters per second. So thirteen point oh meters per second. Right, so. 
what we um, now need to do is we need to use this to find out what V is, which is the, the speed in this direction. Okay, so I know that this is um, 16 meters per second. I know that this is 13.0 meters per second. So I can use Pythagoras to work out what this is here. Okay, so my V is going to be equal to um, 16 squared plus 13.0 squared square rooted. And that works out to be 20.6 meters per second. Okay, so now I know what the um, velocity is, so I've worked this out. Part C wants us to find out what alpha is. So, um, let's just have a think about how we can do that. Okay, I'm in fact I'm going to do part C over here. So, um, in order to find alpha, that's that angle there. Well I know that I've got my ux component here and I've got my uy component here and I've got my v component here. Um, this bit here is 16 meters per second and this bit here is 13 meters per second. So my angle alpha well, I, I've got an opposite side and an adjacent side, so I could say, well, the tan of alpha is going to be equal to the opposite divided by the adjacent. Um, and if I use my calculator to work that out, I should be able to get alpha as... Thirty-nine point one degrees, and there you go. Um, there probably was um, other ways of of going about doing this, um, but I think that this this is probably the simplest approach. So I hope you find that useful, and um, I'll see you again soon.